Welcome back to this channel with practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois United State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer help to support our actuarial students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today. It's from the last course MLC examination, multiple choice section problem number seven. For a special 10-year deferred whole life annuity due of 300 per year issued to 55-year-old, you are given that the annual premiums are payable for 10 years during the deferral period, as you can see. If death occurs during the deferral period, all premiums paid are returned without interest at the end of the year of death. A double dot 55 is 12.2758. A double dot 55 colon angle 10 is 7.4575. IA uh, per 1, uh, 55 colon angle 10, so the cost of increasing life term life insurance for the first 10 years is 0.51213. That's of course cost per unit. So notice that the premium refund feature will pay back the premium without interest. So in first year it will pay P, second year 2P, third year 3P, and so on. So this a premium refund feature is actually increasing life insurance. That's why we need this information. Calculate the level net premium. So let P be the level net premium sought. Using the equivalence principle, we write the actual present value of the premiums on the left-hand side. And since the premium is paid over, the deferral period, that's P A double dot 55 colon angle 10. Now it's a life annuity because the premium stops if the person dies. And uh, it lasts only the first 10 years. And it's equal to P I A upper 1 55 colon angle 10 because this is uh, the premium refund feature. It's actually increasing life insurance that pays P the first year, 2P the second year, and so on. Uh, and plus the actuarial present value of the standard benefits, which is a 10-year deferred whole life annuity due of 300 per year issued to 55-year-olds. So it's the annuity to a 55-year-old minus the annuity over the first 10 years, which is not paid as this benefit. And now uh, from this, P is equal to 300 times the difference of those two annuities divided by A double dot 55 colon angle 10 minus the co cost of unit increasing life insurance over 10 years. All of these um, values that are here, the actuarial values, are given in the problem. We just plug them in and we do the calculation. comes out to be about 208.12 and that's answer E. Please remember, this is copyrighted material uh, and no reproduction, uh, reproduction in any form whatsoever is permitted without explicit written authorization from the copyright owners. The uh, solution is copyrighted by me. The problem itself comes from a society of actuaries and belongs to a society of actuaries and it is reproduced with permission. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.